So we recovered the stolen cases, and as extra punishment to the gorillas, we took their cow, and it is now providing fresh milk supplies and eventually hamburgers for our troops to provide extra morale. But now we... Ensign, <laughs> Ensign Rutherford is reporting for duty. Yep. And now we're going to get to our next uh, objective, which is doing recon on this particular valley. There's a... Uh, yeah, there, there, there's something fishy going on in here, so we gotta get a good lay of the land and figure out what's going on before we can decide whether or not we need to just storm this with our full military might. Uh, we do have recon satellites for this sort of thing, right? I don't know, it depends, depends on if there's like sufficient like stealth shielding or something of that nature. I mean, it is a valley, but there's no no reason to believe that there aren't possibly caverns of stuff that could be hiding things in there. Yeah, true. Just seems kind of lazy on the part of the radar operators. Yeah, but that's also just because like this is the first uh, of like a, what I'm gonna say is like a two part mission because we go through this area twice. Like the next mission is basically like going through it again when in not recon mode. For now, we're switching to the other second gen VT we got. Uh, we could have used like last mission because we got access to both it and the prominence, the blade. The blade is basically the second gen su successor to the falchion. So, you know, s similar weight. Well, uh, well, like I guess more like similar stats. The weight limit is obviously a lot higher overall, but weapon types are fairly close, but more efficient. seems like it's more um, geared for direct combat. A bit more, yes. Like, we still have an AR and a rifle, like, as our primary weapons. That's, like, the common point between this and the Falchion. But we do get, like, as a as a side weapon, we get, like, a, a, a compact missile launcher. That's not as powerful as the AS missile on the on the prominence, but it's like like other uh, side weapons, it's very good in supplementing your your main weapon fire. I do like the sort of clamshell design for the weapon counters. Yeah, it, it's very cool, like it still has like, it still has the same sort of like physical tactile feel of the second gen, uh, not second, of the first gen VTs, but it's just way fancier. Yeah. And also because we got the second gen VT's last mission, like our support units like that are fighting alongside us, they're also updated accordingly to be the the sec, uh, the second gen units. I'm like it's I'll admit I'm still not used to being able to like pick out from a distance like what uh, what the VT silhouettes are, except for the decider. So I can't really tell if like, those are prominences or blades. So it's also very cool that it's not like you're the only one with a, with a fancier mech than everybody else. Yeah, it's like, these are supplies for everyone in the battalion. Mm. There's a lot of games will just, like, they won't do that to make you feel like the fanciest boy on the battlefield. Pretty much. So yeah, we're gonna be making our way through this valley. There are multiple paths uh, to, uh, to kind of go through. For this one, we're gonna stick to like the ones that are like along the rightmost side. Like we could go left, but that's where our that's where our allies are going. And I'd rat and because of how narrow some of these like valley or canyon paths can get, I'd rather not get stuck on them. Looks like your allies have the same idea. Yeah, they they know me too well. Ah, oh, great. He's just going charging off into the fray once again. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, near the end of the last video, I brought up, like, the second new introduced feature that the second-gen VTs had, which was the override. Um, you know, because, like, this is generally going to be demonstrating a lot of, like, the same sort of, like, techniques that we already had, like, established in the first few videos. So I might as well describe more, like, what it is that Override does that makes it so damn good and vital for playing Steel Battalion well. Override is basically what it says. It overrides your VT's inherent limits 
it makes your speed a whole lot faster. Like, if you're moving in third gear and you activate override, you basically start moving at the same speed you would have if you were in fifth gear without override. Almost three times faster. Yeah, and uh, what it and it also, I believe, like. I actually I don't know like the exact multiplier, but like it makes your battery meter recharge a whole lot faster, which is very good for like if you want to do something like I guess like chain slide steps a whole lot faster, because like that because before that basically acted as our cooldown to prevent us from abusing that move. Yeah, but the and like the main downside that it has though is that in activating override it triples your fuel consumption so yeah like the the ability to uh, essentially move faster and slide step more frequently is offset by like draining your resources a lot more which makes a lot of sense why this is a toggle -able ability but the thing that is very nice about it though is that when you activate it or turn it off, there is no technically no cooldown on when you can press the button again and have the opposite effect happen. So, so like the real override strategies come into play where if you say, for instance, want to, uh, you know, like do a slide step, like just one, but you still want to have like the, the battery back up to full immediately just so you have that ready to save you if you like if you're about to topple over and you want to use the slide step to save you you could just feather on and then off the override just to get that battery regain uh, increase just long enough without taking too much of your fuel in the process mm. and seems a bit cheaty uh, i don't think it is i mean like is it not like that, I mean, that's the nature of like a lot of advanced strategies when you find them, and really, there's only one type of of like advanced trick in Steel Battalion, both this and its sequel, that I that I would agree is 100% like cheap or like cheeky. Mm. And while I don't do it, what I can describe it as is you have a button for like manually like reloading the magazine in your main weapons. Uh, however, like when you press that. It nullifies like the reload, uh, like the regular reload time for like your main weapon fire intervals. So it's like if I had the like a smoothbore single shot uh, rifle, and I had to wait through like the load, uh, the reload time on that, I could press magazine uh, yeah. change and then press the main fire weapon again, and I could like get a bunch of shots off in rapid succession. It's real cheeky. I mean, it's kind of balanced out by the fact that you are throwing away an entire magazine uh, of, like, extra ammo you could have had. But, like, but even then, like, especially if you're carrying a bunch of other weapons with you that you can do the same thing, like, especially if this were in line of contact, which is all multiplayer, that would, like, get you a ton of grief from people that are like, dude, that not cool. <laughs> Reload cancelings for dicks. Yeah, that's like that's the only thing I feel that is like agreed on that is like real dickish and like uh, unencouraged. Wagon master, the, this is the, uh, the override you feather trick copy. is totally Over. legit, and I think that's really largely because of the fact that you know it's Requesting the override surprise. button is on the Send center the block of the controller. ASAP. You effectively have to like keep your hand off of like ideally like the left stick since you're still aiming with the right one, and have to like keep matching that like efficiently and of course if you keep forgetting to turn the override off you're going to pay the price of having way less fuel than you should mm. plus there's a specific weapon you get later on uh that is actually tied to the battery so that's another reason why the over uh, the override feather strategy works because it also bypasses like uh the the limits that that weapon would have yeah. So we get our hands on lasers? Uh, no, it actually has to do with what we were in that village for. You remember picking- uh, A railgun. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I guess it's it's no surprise. We're gonna get the railgun <laughs> eventually. And- uh, It's kind of obvious, really. Yeah, we'll get the railgun along with the other uh, the other thing that the prominence gets, uh, gets, which is additional armor. And it'll be glorious when that happens. 
<laughs> you, you'll see that and wonder, I, I did, or, or at least you'll go, I did not think this game could get any more overkill, but it did. So we're now at the destination, and oh, yeah, this is what I was talking about. Like, you can fall over if you <laughs> turn, but also look at how quickly I got back up. That was that, yeah, that, that was, was very much the concession on the designers of like we no one wants to stay toppled over for long or have or worse have that count as a fail state. Yeah. Funny well, enough, I mean you knock what? any of the yeah. enemy mechs down and it takes them like several weeks to get vertical again. Yeah. So we found like our goal, uh, which is that weird entrance, and now we have to run like hell out of here. I, I have the bottom sub monitor switched to back view because I want you to pay attention to what com what it comes into view there. Certainly not the mountain. See those VTs? They are hauling ass. They, they, yep, they're hauling ass, and also there are six of them that spawn. Oh shit! Meet the Jeralax. That sounds like some kind of laxative. <laughs> it's like a laxative made from the Jabberwocky. Because <laughs> you see it and you're just like, oh, shit. <laughs> but yeah, um, the whole point of this mission now is that we have to run because not only are there six of those Jarlax that spawn, they will infinitely spawn from that entrance if you even try and stay and fight them. They are, oh, wow. they are mean. Like, they have weapons that are designed to set your cockpit on fire as well as their own unique melee weapons that are very devastating if you let them get close. Wait, so you can, like, enemies can actively attack your cockpit? Oh, they can. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I did not know that. Yeah, and the thing about the Jeralax too that makes them significant is that in-universe, they are not officially part of the Haishi Dao. They're actually a mercenary group. So we're basically dealing with hired guns that Haishi Dao's president decided that he needed just to like, uh, just to uh, keep his forces like as powerful as they can be so they can continue their territorial like takeover of the neighboring islands. Oh, great, so we're going up against um, robot Blackwater. Kinda, yeah. Fortunately, so these guys weren't yeah. douchebags enough. Yeah, but fortunately, the threshold for completing the mission isn't completely out of the canyon itself. So we, like, we fortunately didn't have to go like to the to the edge of the map, like say we had to do in mission three, where the uh, where the Gianta broadcast station was. But yeah, that's a that's a very intense escape sequence, and that's also like a good reason why I took the blade because you know lighter VT means more speed generally more mobile it's and of course i mean obviously it was a recon it, it just makes more sense that we would use it there barely took any damage that time as well well that, that's actually something that needs to be clarified when you when you do a supply run it refills 50 percent alike of your of your health the reason for that is that if i had not gotten the supply chopper run it probably would have been more like i don't know maybe negative 550 or something but that, that does tie into the fact that if you somehow get through a mission without being damaged, you get a huge, like, point bonus. Otherwise, if you take some damage but still recover it from a from a supply chopper, the most you can ever get is zero. Hmm. Yeah, so, fun little fact there. 